Yellowstone supervolcano magma money has more melted rock than expected. Scientists have determined the consistency of magma beneath the Yellowstone caldera using seismic waves, and the reservoir is filled with slurry that poses no threat of an eruption anytime soon. The amount of melted rock beneath the Yellowstone supervolcano is much higher than previously thought, a new study finds. Although researchers say there are no signs of an impending eruption, the discovery provides a more detailed look at what's happening in the massive magma chamber beneath the national park. Far from being a fine mixture of molten rock, magma reservoirs contain large amounts of solid rock, semi-liquid crystals, gases, and other volatile substances. This magmatic slurry is highly dynamic but tends to emerge from underground when the proportion of fluid, or melt, passes a certain threshold. Previous research has shown that eruptions usually occur when at least 50% of the space in the upper magma reservoir, layers of flat magma pockets stacked on top of each other, is filled with melt. The magma reservoir beneath Yellowstone Volcano consists of two chambers, a shallow reservoir near the surface that is about 55 miles 90 kilometers, long and 25 miles 40 kilometers, wide, and a deeper chamber that is about 4.5 times larger. Although the deeper reservoir contains about 2% melt, the upper chamber contains much more. A study published in Science in December 2022 put the proportion of melt at between 16% and 20%. Now, Sin Mei Wu, a geophysicist and postdoctoral researcher at the Swiss Seismological Service at the Federal Institute of Technology ETH, in Zurich, and colleagues found the percentage is much higher. The team used seismic wave data to assess the texture and composition of the upper magma reservoir, which is about 3 miles 5 kilometers, deep in Yellowstone. The results, published June 8 in the journal Earth and Planetary Science Letters, show that the upper chamber consists of 28% melt 8% to 12% more than the 2022 estimate, which was found with a different method, Wu said. What we found is that the liquid phase portion is not enough for an eruption to occur in the near future, Wu told Live Science. Although we found a much higher portion of liquid than previously found, the amount was still only 28%. So, to the best of our knowledge, Yellowstone will not experience an eruption anytime soon. Calculating the proportion of fluid in a magma reservoir could help scientists evaluate the risk of volcanic eruptions elsewhere. It's important to understand the potential for eruptions, maybe it hasn't happened with Yellowstone so far, but you can apply the same methods to other magma systems that are more prone to eruptions and some that have already erupted, Wu said. Despite recent breakthroughs, scientists cannot confirm what exactly is hidden beneath the supervolcano, Wu said. We're looking forward to the interpretation along with other geophysical data to find out, for example, whether we're just melting or whether there's gas, volatile substances or something else that will help us understand the dynamics of the eruption. <laughs>